Hi there, True Surge. This is a fellow heathen from across the Atlantic saying greetings to, to, to a, a fellow um, soldier in the trenches fighting the just war against the forces of darkness. Great to speak with you. Wait a minute. Are you the guy that ends his videos with astounding rubbish? <laughs> oh, wait. Not yes, that you're... Yes, it is true. <laughs> it is history. It's just more astounding rubbish. <laughs> Yes, yeah, the ending is so same. the ending is so nice uh, because uh, I look forward to that actually when I watch your videos. Uh, anyway, for my subscribers who uh, I I plan to upload our little chit chat today to uh, to my channel, uh, I'm talking to uh, Mr. Ken Humphreys. He has created he's the mastermind behind the website JesusNeverExisted.com, the website that made baby Jesus cry more than once. <laughs> and he's been putting up uh, some videos. Uh, I thought I would do this because I, I don't know how many of my subscribers have have seen his website or is, or knew that he had a YouTube channel. So uh, I wanted to do this little chit chat and a sort of shout out to to. Well, let's let me endorse that as well. I know you have a massive number of subscribers, True Surge, and I have a few, and I'd like them to be aware of your site as, as, as well as your subscribers being aware of my site because we are actually allies in, in a just cause. That's a good idea. Yes. Of course, you do tackle things that I haven't got round to looking at. You've you've done a lot of great stuff that I, that I've enjoyed and learnt stuff from, and and just maybe some of the stuff I've tackled are a, a new angle for, for for you and for your your subscribers. Oh, thank you very much. I I used your website a little bit, in fact, to create some of the material in my excavating the empty tomb series. So I I definitely availed myself of some of the stuff on your website. Um, yeah, and a, a very good series that was that you did excavating the the, the empty tomb. Very good series. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, that. You know, I had done a series before that uh, called Jesus, Hebrew, Human, or Mythical Messiah, where it was a more, you know, it wasn't as produced. It was just me standing in front of a camera saying things that I believed and things that I had discovered, and it was not so polished but then when i did the excavating the empty tomb i i decided well let me make this one a little more polished and and do some things that that i felt were a little off the beaten path not so overdone like the you know the yep. con contradictions like well matthew contradicts mark well everybody's heard those so yeah, exactly uh, exactly part of my own philosophy as well i don't want to just reiterate what people get elsewhere you know that there's no mileage in that i mean christian websites are very good at just cutting and pasting the same old rubbish from one site to another a thousand times over but you know let, let's give a bit more respect to the audience people don't want to be told what you can find anywhere they want to find more interesting stuff that joins a few of the dots that are left in obscurity. And I think that, that's, that's where the product is, makes sense. I totally agree. And that, that's, that was kind of my, my thing for my, you know, for my uh, series. I was like, you know, I've got to make this. I can't, you know, I don't want to go into speculation mode too far. You know, I want to still have it grounded in facts, but I want to cover some things that I thought, were new to, you know if they're new to me then maybe they're new to somebody else because i've you know i've seen a, a good bit of stuff now so i thought well you know the homer stuff that was interesting and and uh just a lot of the little tidbits that that you had on your side about the the difference between christian and christian you know that that little bit and and stuff the tombs you know the 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 various tombs of jesus things like that but let oh, me let me uh, yeah and all of them empty <laughs> yes they're all empty. I mean, he must have risen from all of them. I mean, that's the implication. So let me ask yeah. you. Let me ask you this question. Uh, you told me you were uh, what was it? Proofreading a, a, a new book that covers some information about the Jesus myth idea from various scholars around the world. What's that about? Yeah, yeah. Now this this is interesting, and uh, it's an observation also to to make. Since you know, I began for uh, about fifteen years ago. You, you 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 probably began before that. I don't know quite when. I began looking at Jesus seriously fifteen years ago. Now in those days, 
one of the rather dull, repetitive comments I got from Christians was, nobody believes what you're saying. You know, this is silly stuff. Everybody knows Jesus existed. Stop making yourself a fool. You know, everyone's laughing at you. That was the comments. You know, now the interesting thing is there are now people saying in no uncertain terms, Jesus never existed. And people are saying that in every country across the world. You know, there is now quite quite a, 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 an assembly of scholars who are lining up to actually dare to say the emperor has no clothes. Now, and there's a literal proof of this now coming out in terms of a book. Now, the book is, is actually printed and has been written by a, a Greek scholar, Minas Papan Georgiou, and he, he, has, he has interviewed all the leading lights in mythicism across the world, those, those that he's been able to contact and get in touch with. They include people like Robert Price, Earl Doherty, Richard Carrier, and on and on. In actual fact, 20 scholars who would be considered mythicists or people who have seriously doubted the official story. And so now we have a compendium of scholars of great knowledge and erudition who, who are lining up to denounce this dangerous and destructive myth of Christianity. Now, I think that's an excellent thing. And the way I, real, how I've got involved with this, firstly, I've been honoured by being one of the scholars, one of the 20 or so scholars interviewed for this book, but also I've helped him in, the, in, in proofreading the English translation of the book because, as I say, it was, it's written by a Greek scholar. And... Um, Hopefully, it'll be uh, published in the, in the English-speaking world and, uh, sometime soon, and people will no longer be able to make those cheap comments. Nobody says this, and there's no scholars who agree with this right. because there are hundreds of people now who say it, and, and there are dozens of well-qualified scholars who say it. So that's what I've been doing. Right. I've heard that, I've heard that a lot, even, even by... You know, a few atheists, they'll say, well, no serious scholar accepts the Jesus Smith theory. Uh, and, you know, you hear that very often, and, and it seems like now this theory is gaining some legitimacy, not just here and there in the lay community, but, but even with scholars who have uh, got some sort of, you know, fancy letters after their name and have studied the materials and then they've come across this theory and actually put some time into it and they've finally uh come over you know to the dark side and they've said you know what this has some legitimacy let's check it out but and they finally see that there's actually more under the hood than than people originally believe yes yes um th 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 this is this is this is true Accredited scholars, as it's so-called said, that's people who've got a job in some teaching institution, are beginning to put their head above the parapet and dare risk saying the unthinkable, you know, and the more people who do it, the more credibility this, this will gain. And, and, and it is gaining. And for me, and I'm sure you would agree with me, I think the real genius come out the bottle when the internet made this possible. This is this is the death knell to organised religion, I believe. Just like the printing press triggered off the, the the Reformation and broke the monopoly of the Catholic Church, the internet will break this 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 what I've called a straight jacket of Christian belief that, that that grips people's minds because knowledge now is flowing very rapidly around the world and those those old cheap tricks like saying oh that's a silly idea no one believes it they can no longer get away with that I totally agree I've I've often thought of the internet as a sort of modern day printing press it was it was uh, sort of like Pandora's box, you know, it was just like it was once it was <laughs> once we connected everybody to everybody, uh, it was just over. You know, it's like like you say, uh, if I post a video, the world can see it in the next few minutes. Uh, abs absolutely. And th th the parallels are very interesting because, of course, when the printing press was invented, as I'm sure you know, among the first things printed were the Bible 
and, 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 and papal bulls. You know, the official propaganda went out, first of all, and the popes and the, and the clergy thought, oh, well, this is pretty good, isn't it? They didn't realise what they had on their hands.